Mona, Sebastian, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Oh, no problem. So you gotta tell me about this new three-part documentary series, The Great Muslim American Road Trip. What's happening? Uh, you know, this is a trip that uh, Mona and I take uh, from the beginning of Route 66 in Chicago, all the way to LA, uh, end up at the Pacific Ocean. Um, you know, the genesis was really this uh, idea to spend some time together after a long period of COVID isolation. We've got two small boys. Um, we've been together almost 10 years, and it was really initially this kind of chance for a second honeymoon, and it really um, blossoms into something bigger, way bigger than us and more interesting than us, frankly, as we kind of learn about the history of this country through Islam on this kind of iconic American uh, route uh, that most folks don't associate with diversity and certainly don't associate with Muslim history. Yeah, what do you think might be the most surprising thing that uh, we as an audience learn as we you know, follow you on this journey? Hmm. Well, for us, all I can speak for is the fact that our own perceptions really shifted. And our idea of when Muslims were first here on this land just kept getting pushed further and further back out, all the way to the point where we were at the Zuni Pueblo in New Mexico. And we learned that a man by the name of Mustafa Zamuri was here in the year 1500, and that he was an enslaved Moroccan who was brought over by the Spanish. And he was this incredible human being who had a knack for languages and was able to communicate with the native with different Native American tribes. He learned their languages, was able to chart um, paths through different tribes and was known by them. So what kind of lessons did you take home after going on this this great trip together? Uh, what did you see that you maybe didn't expect to, to set out to see in the first place? You know, um, being a traveler is a very humbling experience. You're kind of at the mercy of people's kindness. You, um, we were fed by people. We were taken in by people. Um, you're kind of forced to be almost a child again. And we were kind of students in the hands of these people we met. Um, one of the things that really moved us was meeting two different communities, one in Springfield, Illinois, and one in Joplin, Missouri, vibrant, beautiful uh, Muslim communities, each of whom had been victims of arson. Their mosques had been burned down in these hateful acts. Um, and their response to that trauma, their response to that hate was to step back into the world, actually to open their hearts back up um, to be of service, to be resilient, um, and to share their stories with us. And that was a very humbling, uh, moving experience for each of us of, of how one can respond to unimaginable bigotry and a feeling of not being wanted. And so we really felt re-inspired to be better people in the world, not just in our marriage and in our family and with our kids, but what it means to be on this planet and to be a good person. I love that. It sounds very informative, but also just so much more than just a, a normal road trip, you know, just, you know, going up the street. Exactly. <laughs> we got three full uh, parts of this docuseries coming to us. Mona, Sebastian, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. You're very welcome. Thank you for having us.